Hello, my name is Suzanne and welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you have been here before, either way, I am so, so thankful to have you. I hope you are having a wonderful and lovely day today whenever you're watching this video. Today's video is going to be a kitchen deep clean. I did a lot of this during my spring cleaning and just never posted it. So I thought I would go ahead and wrap it up <laughs> and post it now because there's never really a bad time to deep clean your kitchen. So I definitely needed to get mine done, especially when it was my spring cleaning. One of the first things that I like to do is gather up all the rugs and towels and throw those in the washing machine so they can get washing while I am tackling the next thing on my to-do list. I did have plans to clean the inside of my fridge on this day and I ended up not making time to do it. I took so much time doing everything else. So I did do that a different day. It probably ended up in a different video. So uh, you'll have to <laughs> excuse my fridge for this video, but I have lots of other cleaning videos if you would like to watch those. And I have cleaned my fridge before on those videos. Now we're just going to clear off the counters. My main goal for my deep cleaning was to get everything dusted and wiped down. I rarely do that unless it's needed. So deep cleaning is a time where I like to like clean my dishwasher, wipe down the top of the fridge, uh, wipe down all the cabinets and stuff. So that definitely was on my list of things to do on this particular cleaning day. And you'll see as I go through some of the stuff I clean regularly like mopping my floors I do that usually about once a week or so uh, but other things I don't really get to that much like dusting especially the tops of the cabinets and all the ledges and stuff so a lot of stuff really needed to get done as well as deep cleaning my dishwasher one way I like to do that is to take everything out and then I grab a cup and I pour some dish soap and some white vinegar and I set that on the top shelf of my dishwasher and run a cycle to clean it and get everything sanitized. I do the same for my microwave. My microwave wasn't too dirty, but it really felt good to just go ahead and sanitize it and get it clean. So I will put a bowl of water with the solution I mentioned and heat it for three minutes and then let it sit for additional two minutes. Now we're going to move on to dusting and this is pretty much just a Swiffer and making my way around the kitchen. Luckily my kitchen is cozy and not huge so it doesn't take as long as it could. Storage space is at a premium in this kitchen. If you've seen any of, my, any of my previous videos on my kitchen, you'll know that it's pretty tight in here as far as storage goes. So I do have baskets on top of my fridge and I store extra dry goods in those. So I really wanted to make sure I dusted up there and wiped everything down. And I did go through the baskets later off camera uh, just because I knew I might have had some stuff in there that needed to be tossed or used up. Let me know what do you like to do when you deep clean your kitchen? Do you have a list of things to get done? Do you kind of just tackle things as they come? Do you have things that you do regularly? I am always interested to hear other people's cleaning routines because then it helps me add to mine or modify mine as needed. So let me know what your kitchen deep cleaning tasks are that you do every time. These wood cabinets are so beautiful. They came with the house and they are real wood. So I do love them for that, but I don't love that they have these deep grooves inside of each cabinet 
face because that's where a lot of dirt and grime and nasty gets stuck. So every time I deep clean, I try to get in there either with a rag or if I need to with like a Q-tip or something because it gets really nasty. If I had my choice, I probably wouldn't purchase cabinet doors with grooves on them just because it is such a pain in the butt to clean. Here is my dishwasher after the initial deep cleaning sanitizing round. So now what I'm going to do is pour some dish cleaning tabs in here and get that scrubbed and wipe down the top part as well because it tends to get a lot of buildup since we have hard water. This is the cleaner I'm using. It says it removes buildup and it deodorizes. I don't know how great it works, but it does an okay job. So you pretty much just throw one of these tabs or powder into the bottom of the dishwasher and then you just run another cycle on rinse and let it do its thing. After the microwave was run with my hot water bowl, I just wipe everything down with a paper towel and it makes it so much easier to clean. If you've never used this trick before, I highly recommend it. Another deep cleaning chore is always wiping down the trash can. I do this kind of regularly if it needs it, but when it's deep cleaning time, I like to get the front and the back. I open the inside and wipe everything down that may have spilled inside. This is a fairly new trash can. I replaced our old one, so this one actually wasn't too bad at the time, but definitely needs some TLC a lot of the time because things tend to spill or not make it in the can. So always good to wipe everything down when you're doing your deep cleaning. Another area I make sure to clean is around the trash can because things tend to fall behind there or get spilled onto the walls. So definitely wipe your baseboards and floor area down and the walls around your trash can if you don't do that often. Something I really needed to do was clean our air fryer. Ugh, I hate doing this. It gets so much use. We use this all the time and just look how gross it gets. I make sure to wipe all the grease off as best I can before I put anything in my sink so that it doesn't clog it up. And then I just use a paper towel and wipe the door. It is pretty nasty. You can see all the like debris and everything that was in there, all the crumbs and stuff. So I'll wipe that down and then I will grab the scrubber and put some dish soap on it and then go in and try to scrub it as best I can. It's really just the door area that's bad. The inside doesn't get too bad. And then of course the racks really needed to be scrubbed and soaked. Again, don't forget to wipe down the walls and stuff around the air fryer. If you don't, I will do it semi-weekly, <laughs> but I definitely don't do it as often as I probably should. So I pulled the air fryer out and made sure to wipe down the backsplash and the area around where it sits in case any crumbs had fallen back there too.
I don't really need to clean a lot is my oven. Luckily, even though we do use it pretty often, I don't have a lot of things that spill and make it dirty inside. I do wipe down the inside of the door and try to get that as clean as I can, but I feel very fortunate that my oven kind of stays pretty clean because I really don't enjoy cleaning it. I will put some baking soda and dish soap into the sink and scrub that and then obviously remove everything from the counters and wipe down all the backsplashes and stuff too. This is another thing that I don't do super regularly so when I'm deep cleaning I want to make sure that I take a rag and wipe down all the backsplashes in case there were any spills and messes. I didn't make it into the pantry for this video either, but I have done that in the past. I will probably do that again in a new video coming out soon for fall. I do another sort of semi-deep cleaning for the fall before I start decorating for the holidays. So I will try to include a pantry clean out in that video as I prep for our holiday entertaining and that kind of thing. The last thing I'm gonna do for this video is to sweep and mop. I do actually do that pretty frequently because we have kids and dogs. And then I'll take out my laundry and put my rugs back down on the floor and that is pretty much it for my kitchen deep cleaning it really wasn't too bad to begin with at least not noticeably bad but the dusting and wiping everything down and just getting into those places where I don't clean as regularly really makes a huge difference and I just love the way my kitchen looks and feels after I have finished it thank you so much for watching I have a lot more cleaning motivation coming for you soon so I hope you will subscribe I will see you next time